Yep. All right, here we are on how to have fun outdoors. Yep, they need to go up north. But we're heading north, way up north. video for you today from how to have fun outdoors that's right we're visiting one of the most beautiful lakes in northern new hampshire and how do you say it aliche is the lake ambegog lake ambegog yeah, and i've heard it pronounced 50 different ways but uh, aliche got it right this is beautiful area with the moose wow. the bobcats the bears the wild turkeys, bald eagles, you name it. And it's a fantastic lake like no other. In fact, how do you say moose in Italian? Alce. Alce. All right. Well, here we are on the New Hampshire main border, way in the north. And this lake is famous for smallmouth bass. Got all the bluegills, perch, you know, hornpout, uh, pickerels. There's some... Uh, Northern Pike, I guess, in some of the backwater areas, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. How do you say, well, you already said that, right? Moose? Yeah. How do you say it again? Alche. Okay, Alche. Well, in any case, lots of Alche. We saw four on this recent trip, and the waters are just gorgeous. This is a huge lake, 7,850 acres, 10 feet average depth. Wikipedia says 45 is the max depth. We actually proved that wrong with uh, marking over 50 on all three of our depth finders. But uh, this is fed by three rivers, including the famous Rapid River that comes out of Maine, world famous uh, Brookie uh, River. But in any case, we had a great time. We targeted the most beautiful fish in the world for sure, the little Brookie, and, uh, and we also targeted smallmouth bass. So. Sit back and enjoy us on our brand new 2021 Tahoe 1950 deck boat as we go after a nice brook trout. with today uh, it's a spinner. okay it's a spinner. so okay panther martin like it and we're here up in uh right on the edge of maine in new hampshire on lake umbagog is that how you say it umbagog umbagog <laughs> all right someday i'll learn how to say it but we've been told there's some sweet fish up here yep. and uh it's may and we're gonna see what we can do out here yep. you were killing it down in florida let's yep. see what you can do up by the canadian border from the top south to the top north let's get it done all right let's do it and uh you're gonna love this folks we're back on a river bayou and we're gonna head into the lake in a little bit out of the gate i, I think it was the second cast it's a little guy but we're on the board and wow look at that a big spring perch beautiful huh Wow. I'm the Panther Martin. Beautiful. It's nice. Three. What's okay. going on? I don't know what's going on, but this is like the third or fourth cast, and I've already got two. 
<laughs> this is beautiful up here. Take a look, folks. Another one. Beautiful. Wow, we're in Perch Haven. Perch Haven. <laughs> it's a good time of the year. We might, you know, think about eating some of these later on. But right now, catch and release. All right, you got the bass seat up. Looking good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, now he's good. All right. Mission accomplished. All right. Okay, so we got the yellow with red dot uh, Panther Martin against the black and yellow dot Panther Martin. Funny thing is, everybody knows these lures, but my father was fishing with these lures, and I was as a kid, way before everybody else was into Panther Martins, and I've seen there's videos out now and everything else, but back in the old days, it was all MEPs, MEP spinners. That was the key, and Panther Martin was uh, Don Taylor and my go-to, and we did a lot of damage. So these two are different on different days, so today, Believe it or not, our go-to is usually the dark one, and as everyone knows, that's pretty popular. But today, that has caught zero fish, and our yellow one, are you ready, has already caught five fish, all perch. But uh, it's pretty crazy. The perch are hitting the yellow, not the black. Okay, so Alice's. Matchy, matchy. You got matching pole for your bathing suit? You're unbelievable. Anyhow, this is a brand new pole. Aliche found it, bought it, and how about that? Matches the bathing suit. Even the threaded line matches the bathing suit. So, well, what's the story here, Aliche? You got to have everything matching. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're adding fashion. There you go. The girl from Lake Como, just north of Milan. The fashion queens even got fashion fishing gear. <laughs> All right. else got the same idea they're out there trolling behind us in the middle of nowhere there is a colossal lake and we find the other boat but everybody knows that that river comes in up here and there's some big giant brookies that uh, come into the lake and that's what we're shooting for today uh, we got tons of perch no bass and we decided to come up here and see if we can nail some brookies that actually looks like the identical deck boat, believe it or not, Aliche behind us. Really? Yeah. How crazy is that? Same color too? No, that's the blue. Ah, the blue one. The blue. Can you believe it? Yeah, I'll have to blue. watch our walkthrough review on oh, YouTube. On the Tahoe 1950. <laughs> All right. All right, we got some major trolling going on. And uh, let's hope we get something.
keep the pull up high. High, 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 high. Okay. Okay, keep it up. Nice, come try to ring them around this way. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. Oh, look at that. And that's a big fish, big, big fish. All right, well done, big old bass. We've caught everything today. Brookies, bass, perch. Well done, Aliche. Awesome. All right, well done. Beautiful big fish. Bass. Big old bass. Well done, baby. A nice trout for dinner. So this one will go back. All right, nice. Drop them in there. Nice, well done. Nice catch and release. Well yes. done, Aliche. Big bass. Gotta love it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a big fight, huh? Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> that was a big fight. All right, very good. And yesterday in part one, you got to see us catch, we probably caught about 20 perch. Uh, and then we said, you know, let's go see if we can get something a little bigger. And we got out on the lake, did some trolling. We had lead lines, regular lines, and we caught a beautiful 15 and a half inch brookie. And the yep. leche slayed a big old bass yep. on the lead line. So the bass was down deep, the trout was up high. Who, well, you know, high. go figure. But uh, what do you think of today? I mean. It is probably the warmest day of the year so far in 2021. What do you? And it's only me. I uh, don't expect uh, that. <laughs> I take it. I take it. You take it. All right. So, what's your strategy today, Alice? My strategy is to start from here and follow the coast all around, and then arrive to our secret magic spot. Okay. So it's so beautiful out. Are you thinking about diving? You were talking earlier. If it's it gets above uh, 83, you might go for the first dip of the year. I am uh, still thinking about it, and there is uh, no wind, so I think that is the perfection moment, uh, or now or never. All right, so there you have it. So we might get to see some fishing and some uh, swimming, swimming uh, today on how to have fun outdoors. outdoors. So uh, definitely comment below. Tell us... Uh, what type of fishing you do, uh, how you like the lake fishing we're doing up here, and any suggestions you have for some new bait or new techniques when you're up here trying to catch those trout and bass and everything else. But for now, we're going to uh, get settled in, get the poles in the water, and uh, see if we can convince Aliche to dive in first time this year, 2000. I'm ready. 21. <laughs> All right, hit that like button. Smash that like button. Ooh, Boom. Like that. All right, and subscribe. Three. All right, so we've got Rocky. We've got Gypsy. We're all out here fishing today. These guys are having a lot of fun. Rocky is over 10, so we let him take the jacket off once in a while because he knows what he's doing. This little guy, he's a troublemaker, and she's... Uh, she yesterday i said put that life jacket on she keeps walking around the edge sure enough she fell in good thing we had the life jacket we netted her back in the boat but we would highly recommend going to cabela's pro bass shop wherever you may want to go and ordering these up they're really nice and what's great about them is you can just grab them by the back and move them all around the boat it's fantastic <laughs> and there's no reason you can't bring your puppies out and enjoy the outdoors all right here she goes she's gonna go for it i go for it are you really doing it 
I am really doing it. In and, May. And I'm not going to touch, touch the water before because otherwise I change my mind. <laughs> You're going to jump in the water in May in Maine. Yep. I'm going to have to change the title of the video. So we're going to, yeah, we might actually pick up some subscribers with this. I didn't say I would stay in the water in May. So there you have it, folks. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We're 15 feet deep and the leche is going to be diving in. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Now, for everyone back at home, don't worry. Liche was a competitive swimmer, number one, lifeguard, number two, and, and, a, uh, surfer, number and a surfer, number three. So let's see what she can do up here in Maine in May. Okay, let's do it. This time for real. <laughs> All right, start the season. How does it feel? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Rocky? Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, how was that? <laughs> it was nice. Now I take the dogs. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Beautiful day out here in Maine in May. Are you serious? You're going back in again? Oh, yeah. Jump number two. <laughs> <laughs> What's your style? Never stop. All right, everybody hit subscribe down <laughs> below and give us a comment if you think she's lost her mind. She's loving this 60 degree Fahrenheit water in Maine in May. So you're going to do it one more time? Yes, actually two. One for Rocky and one for Gypsy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Come on. Right. Here we go. Wow. How crazy is that, folks? Uh, well, they can both go. They got their life jackets. Ready? Yes. Here you go. Wow, look at you. Look at Jizzy. Here's Rocky. Here's Rocky. subscribers we get on this video hey come on what's going on what's what are you doing aliche what's up captain hey come on this was a fishing trip today well it now it's lizard time lizard time we just got started <laughs> how am i gonna do a fishing video and so far we've already spent an hour with you swimming and playing around and now you're laying out yeah look at here how can i not do that all right come on we got to catch some big fish how are we going to get these guys to subscribe and give us a like well they can subscribe because uh, how to have an adult means also swimming and the lizard time <laughs> <laughs> all right very good so here we go all right i've got the controller and i'm nice and wet and cool down so now we can go and get some fishes <laughs> all right finally let's do it let's try to catch some fish for everyone okay day two we are out finally we got the three poles in the water and it's looking really nice uh well done aliche so you ready to do this finally get serious about fishing i'm getting serious <laughs> <laughs> all right so here we go let's see what we can do okay aliche's got us into a hot spot coming around this point looking coming in there look at that boat it's gonna be really nice up into this little cove. Let's see if we can pull something out of here, folks. Look at that little rock formation over there. We got the poles out, it's looking good. 
Just need to dish on. Are you ready? I'm always ready. All right. Yep. Well, let's do it. Unfortunately, we've got thunderstorms coming in a big way, so we're gonna have to take it back in, which really sucks. Because right out of the blue, it was sun, and now uh, they're saying 80% chance of thunderstorms. I don't like that. <laughs> and lightning, so we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits and uh, on part two here, and maybe uh, we'll try again tomorrow.